Hey you guys, my name is Rich and I'm going to my second Burning Man this year and uh, 2014 and last year, not that it was a disaster, but I slept in a tent, I borrowed a shade structure from someone and so it worked out and it was manageable and I kind of caught a couple uh, hours of sleep here and there. But it wasn't as comfortable as it could have been. Uh, so really, the reason I'm creating this channel, and it's called Learning Man 2014 because I learned my lesson last year, believe me, uh, is that I'm creating a hexa yurt this year. And it's June 19th, 2014, and I just got this idea three days ago within the past 72 hours, and I just got to this probably uh, just, you know, mulling over a lot of the questions a lot of you guys, a lot of you returning burners and first-time burners are, are thinking about. How am I going to camp? Uh, you know, what am I going to do? Is a tent going to work? What am I going to do for shade? Should I rent an RV? Should I buy an RV? Should I? Should we build a geodesic dome with a, a huge camp? What I found was that for uh, well under five hundred dollars, I could build myself a hexa yurt, and I'm going to show you really quickly what this looks like. And this is the playa with them, or a few of them, anyways. Um. And that's basically what I'm going to be building. These are all the, the standard size ones uh, with 12 triangular roof pieces and six uh, wall pieces. I'm actually going to use six additional 2x8 wall pieces to give me an extra 2-foot room standing height. So my instead of 4-foot walls, I'm going to have 6-foot walls all the way around and a peak uh, at the center of the hexa yurt of 10 feet. So basically I could do a... Uh, backflip, uh, set up a chin-up bar in there, I, you know, it, it, it's going to be walk around, uh, living space, sleeping space that remains cool. Uh, it's fully participatory because I'm going to have to have people uh, help me assemble it on playa. Not a lot, and it's not difficult, but it requires uh, people to help me put the roof on and hold in balance. So, very participatory. It's my shelter. It's super style, you guys. I'm building a piece of playa art. There was only, I think, a thousand of these things caught on satellite last year, so... Uh, it's the beginning of a trend. There's a couple tried and tested true models. The H12 was one of them. That's the one I just pictured when I uh, showed you my screen there. I'm actually going to build the H15 out of uh, 15 pieces, thus the name, H15. 15 pieces of 4x8, uh, um, one inch reflective uh, insulation. This stuff is really light, you guys. It packs in a 4x8 footprint, sandwiched between two half, inches, two half inch pieces of plywood and strapped with compression straps and a tarp. It can fit on top of a, you know, a Volkswagen Rabbit. Uh, it's going to go on top of my Subaru or in your trailer or on your truck or, or however you want to get it there. But for well under 100 pounds and well under $500, probably for $400, you can pull this off. Maybe $450. Uh, uh, building materials, depending on whether you have con compression straps or not, uh, depending on how many tarps you have, because you're going to need a large tarp to, to, to put on for, as your flooring. Uh, and then the tape. And keep in mind, the tape you're going to have to special order, and it is time sensitive. We use uh, a special six inch tape on, on, on a good portion of, of taping the joints on this thing. And really, this video has gone on long enough. This was just to introduce the channel, but here we go in a nutshell. I'm building a hexa yurt for Burning Man, and the reason I have all these pieces of cardboard out is because I've cut these to four inches by eight inches, and I'm going to build a, 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 a small model of my hexa yurt uh, while I'm waiting for my other building materials to arrive. So I've done a dry run before I cut into hundreds of dollars of building materials. My first time, uh, you know, outside of building a tree fort when I was eight years old, you guys, this is the first structure, you know, maybe outside of a lean-to or uh, something on a camping trip uh, that I've had to build outside of popping up a tent. So this is really cool. If you guys are looking for something that's reusable, a way to keep you cool, uh, and we're going to get into solar lighting, uh, aeration, misting, running a, a solar or battery powered swamp cooler. I'm actually going to have quite a few videos, so I, I may in, be, be in over my head because I've got enough to keep me busy before the burn as it is. But uh, yeah, keep joining me and I'm going to walk you through the steps here. So you, you got time, you guys. You can build this thing and I'm going to walk you through it uh, as we go through, through all these. So for the next videos, I guess uh, I'm going to walk you through building up a small uh, markup model of your own hexier. We'll see you in the next video.